All right, welcome to Boom Beach, Defiance Rebels. This is Plain Pants, and today we've got a couple of things, but basically I want to show you heroes versus teamwork. First of all, all of our team is awesome. But we have a balanced way to attack everything, which I think is really cool. So we have what I like to call, or what we call in the task force, the heroes. The guys that can all Zooka in and just takes, take a whole base down by itself. But then we have guys that just like to be part of a concerted effort, whether it's taking down key defenses or whatever, to get her done. So the attack of the day, once again, is going to go to Andrew because, I mean, every once in a while, he just, he just busts out with, like, these... <laughs> <laughs> these, these Van Gogh-like masterpieces. And this one, when I watched it, I, I just... I was like, oh my god. Like, this is just perfect. Like, down to his the beautiful landing of these guy, of the uh, all Zookas, which is fantastic. He clears out the mines exactly where he wants to go. But it, it really, the beauty in the attack is where he goes and how he manages that spot once he gets there. So let me show you. So now it's pretty obvious. He's going to flare right in front of those rocket launchers. But now once he's there, his idea is not to take out those rocket launchers because he's realized he's in the blind spot. So he's going to keep the... So he flares onto the core... He's going to shoot right past the rocket launchers and keep the rocket launchers and anything else distracted by throwing critters behind the Zookas. <laughs> oh my god. That's just... <laughs> I just can't... I, I just can't even tell you how cool that is. I know I'm, I tend towards hyperbole a lot, but that's one of the coolest attacks I've ever seen. It doesn't get, it doesn't get better than that. So Andrew, a tip of the hat to you, my boy. That was awesome. That was like, that made my day. Yesterday, I had a tough day at work, you know, and uh, I come home and see that. By the way, my apologies, I didn't attack at all this operation, so bad plain pants bad bad plain pants i totally missed it what i had intended on attacking is commodore which all of you know is a big fluffy white dog that pretends to be a sheep and attacks when anything tries to attack the sheep but that's besides the point on commodore we had a really nice assist and put away situation and I think Beef gets the... There's like three major assists here. I think Beef gets the major assist because this is like the, the thankless attack. This is the thankless attack that no one wants to do. But when you see it, you're just like, yep, that's what you got to do. I'm going to use my whole attack not to make a deep cut into that line of boom cannons. I need to take out that shock launcher so the next guy doesn't have to deal with that hot mess. And that's what he does. He does he just he goes right for it. He's like, shock mines, I don't care. Take out all my zookas, I don't care. I am gonna take that shock launcher down if it's the last thing I do. And ironically, it's the last thing that he did. But now, since that shock launcher is gone. Th that whole situation is cleared. So, safety Jeff, seven deadly sins, you guys did awesome. I'll just show the clear out because I like how big Shy she, 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 Shy, Shy, big Shy does it. Because even though at this point it's a fairly straightforward put away, he likes to keep things nice and tidy. So he clusters his Zookas in together. We'll go 2x on this one. Hugs up the right side. Stays clear of anything 
too nasty. Just a real nice tight finish, okay? Because you don't want to leave anything to chance, right? You may think you have an easy closeout, but if you get sloppy, all of a sudden, all your zookas are dead, and then you're just screaming at your screen, why didn't I take better care of my troops like big shy, shy, shy did. By the way, I love that green puff of smoke that comes out of the core now. They're really making some cool improvements, and they've really, like, you know, the, uh... The bases had been kind of claustrophobic. They've sort of opened it up now. It's not surrounded by buildings anymore. Now it's surrounded by train tracks and supply crates and whatnot. It's a, a more airy feel, I guess, to the base. I like it. I like it. Oh, look at that. There's a boat in dry dock. I never even noticed that one before. A gunboat in dry dock. Very cool. I don't know if that's a real way they do dry dock, but it's alright. What's life without whimsy? Alright, this is Plain Pants. Later.